Hi guys, I'm glad you are interested in my tutorial. I am Art Invader. I am a digital artist from Germany. I regularly post art and short tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. I am also an NFT artist. You can find my Art Invader Crypto Cat collection on OpenSea. Feel free to check it out. In this tutorial, we will create this kinetic text animation. On my YouTube channel you can find a Cinema 4D and a Blender version of each tutorial. In the first part of the video we create the texture with Photoshop. Then we will create the animation with Cinema 4D. Finally, there is a bonus on how to edit the animation with After Effects. Let's go Arties! Creates a new project with 4000 by 4000 px Unlocks the background and inserts a new layer for the text. Draw a text box and write down a term of your choice. The text must be black. Adjust the text to the format and duplicate it. Hold down the Alt key and move the text down. Select all the text layers and press the icon at the top to center them. Select all text layers and rasterize them and then connect the layers. Select the Gaussian Blur to blur the edges. Then select all the planes and connect them. The file is ready for export as a PNG file. Now we switch to Cinema 4D. First we go to the render settings. Select the physical renderer. Select the format 1080 by 1350 pixel. Set the frame rate to 24 to make the animation render faster. At the end select all frames at frame range. Now we start. First you select a tarp. Then you enlarge the canvas to 4000 by 4000 centimeters. For segmentation select 1000 for width and 1000 for height. If your computer stalls, you can reduce the segments for the time being. Then you create a material. Under displacement insert the file we created in Photoshop. In order to see something. We need an interactive render region. Attention! I scale the renderer to the whole render region, it could crash your computer in the course of the time. Move the material onto the canvas. Select a suitable section within the render region. With the arrow on the side, you can sharpen the image. So that the transformation of the plane goes upwards, we have to set the value height negative, that is minus 10. In order to have more lettering, we need to adjust the texture. To do this, first press on the material icon up here. Under length U and length V set the value to 30%. Now we select a suitable section. Now we need a displacer to transform the canvas wavy. You can find it here in the bar above and then set it onto the tarp. Under Object, Height you enter the value 150. Then you go to the sub-item Shading. Under Shader you select Noise. Click on the image to edit the texture. Under Noise select VL Noise. At Global Scale enter the value 5000%. To animate the plane, enter the value 0.5 for animation speed. Finally you select the value 0,5 for cycles. I extend the duration of the animation to 5 seconds. Now we create the texture. Select the already created material. Go to reflectance and remove the layer. 
Then click on that and insert a new Beckman layer, then set roughness to 15%, reflection strength to 100% and specular strength to 0%. After that you select sky in the bar above. By double clicking in the material window, you can create a new material. Drag and drop the material to the sky. Then deselect everything except the luminance channel. There you insert under texture, a graphic of your choice. I use the following graphic, you can find the download link in the caption. To adjust the luminance, you first have to set the mix mode to multiply. After that you can increase the brightness to 110%. Finally you set the segments of the tarp to 500 in height and in width. After that you choose subdivision surface and put the plane under it, so that the result looks nice and smooth. Now we can start rendering. In the meantime, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I have Patreon. There you can support me as an artist. You can choose between two packages. With the first package, you have exclusive access to all my Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial files from YouTube. In the second package, you also have access to the YouTube files, but also to my Instagram artworks. You can see inside the file how I work and what my tricks are. You also have access to my animations and 3D objects within the file. I will upload in both packages, several times a week new projects. Therefore, it will be especially worthwhile for you. Thanks a lot for your support. After the animation is rendered, you can save it. Now comes the bonus part. For this we'll switch to Adobe After Effects. By double clicking in the project area, you can insert the animation. If you have a PNG sequence, check the box below. Drag the animation into the following window. Search under effects you slash saturation and drag it to the layer. Set master saturation to 20. Duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to multiply. Press the T key and set the opacity to 10%. Now I work with overlays. You can also find the files in the caption. Select the destroy overlay and drag it into the layer window. Press the S key and scale it to fit. Then select the blending mode lighten. Now select the second overlay and repeat the process. But set the blending mode to add. Finally, we make a loop out of the animation. Select all the layers, press the right mouse button and select pre-compose. In the view window, press the right mouse button and select composition settings. There you double the length of the animation. Then duplicate the animation. Press the right mouse button and select time, time reverse layer. Move the second layer to the end of the animation. Now we have a perfect transition. Great. We are done. Well done. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload one to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.